friends today i will tell you how to create a report or how to feed your real time data or your graph data to your excel file for that purpose i just go to my block diagram window over here just right click you have to install report generation toolkit to your to your lab view over here as you see i have different tool or you can say different nodes related to report generation like over here i have ms office report word specific excel specific so today i will tell you excel specific okay so for that purpose first you have to create report i just lock it create report then you have to go to first your loop because i want to read data or feed data many times as many as my loop runs so i just use while loop over here okay so you have to now go to your excel specific over here you have to use excel set cell alignment that is in excel set cell alignment that is in excel format just drag and drop this okay just connect this or here you have to set the format which type of report you want so i just create a constant over here over here we have three types html word excel right now i am working with excel okay so my report type is excel over here now i just go back to my report generation toolkit over here i want to use append table to report append table to report as you see just drag and drop connect this this will take data from your variables like you have temperature you have pressure you have flow you have current you have voltage etc it will feed it to this part and over here in the excel set cell alignment we have different formats so over here i just create constant over here create constant over here so when you go to your help as you see horizontal alignment vertical alignment so in this case i just put let's say center so my horizontal and vertical both the alignments are center specific so now i just go to append table to report so over here you have different formats so first i just create const for this one for column because i just want a table in which first we have serial number in the second we have temperature data in the third we have pressure data in the fourth we have flow data so let's say just drag this so i just increase the size so first one is my serial number okay second one is my temperature third is my pressure and fourth is my flow 
let us say. Okay. So, this is the heading. Now, you have to go to next part. In this, you have to save your report. So, to save your report, you just go to advance. Over here, you have clear report option, which will use clear report, which is used outside and you have to save report to file also. So, save report, this one, you have to drag. So, I just move it over here. Just connect this. It will save your report and if you want to dispose your file, you can also do, do that using dispose this one. Using this function, it will dispose your report also. Okay. So, this is these are the four or you can say one, two, three, four, five. These five are the main building block of a report generation. Okay. So, I just also create the labels for this visible items labels. Okay. So, over here as you see labels are also visible. Now, I want to feed the data to this append table. For that purpose, I just create data. So, first let us say I have random numbers. I just use this random number. You can use this also. It will generate 0 to 1 and it will generate according to your limits. So, I just use this one and over here I just make it floating type. So, upper limit for my temperature is let us say 60 degree Celsius and the lower limit for my temperature is let us say 10 degree Celsius. In my location, it is not going below 10 degree Celsius. Right now, I am creating a demo. So, now you have to convert this data into string because right now it is in DBA. So, format into string, we just use in the strings, format into string. Okay. So, I just drag and drop, connect this because this will generate the data and in, if you are dealing with real time data, you have to connect this or you can replace this one with your real time data like you can use DAC assistant and etc. In the next video, I will continue with that also. Okay. So, now this is my let us say temperature data. Then you have to also format this string. So, you have to select how many decimals you require in this case. So, the format is percentage dot 2 f. And if you want to check over here in the detail help, you can get the data also. Which format is used? So, over here, just drag and like over here, this is the format you can use that is format into string. Then just I just close this because I need three types of data. So, I just drag and drop over here and my pressure data will go from 0 to let us say 100 Pascal. Okay. And my flow data is again let us say 0 to 100. So, again you have to use format into string. Just connect this. 
and the format is again same now you have to create build array function because we want to combine all these data to a string so i just use four so first one is my serial number that will comes from my iteration that will come my from come from my iteration it is not connected directly because i need again format into string for this also the format so over here right now the data is converted into string this is my serial number this is my temperature data over here this is my pressure data and this is my flow data now i want to just insert into an array this data i want to insert into an array for that purpose i just go to array insert into an array just connect this okay and now you have to connect it to the edge of your while loop replace with shift registers okay now the data will go from one place to another place means when first time loop runs it will get the data again when second time loop runs it will store the data over here when third time it will run it will store data one by one so shift register in the case of shift, shift registers over here we have the initial data so i just create constant and right now i have 2d data so increase this and this data that is generated by insert into string it will go to the append file so over here this is row header in this case i need not require any row header and i just connect this data to over here control u minimize it so right now the program is ready and i just put some delay inside this let's say create constant 500 milliseconds after 500 milliseconds data will feed it to our system so right now i also create file path also so over here create a control over here it will give me the file path and right now broken arrow is there because my while loop is not connected to a stop button when i have to stop this so it is now the program is ready so i just check it is working or not or so over here you have to drag this over here you have to just feed the your file or just feed your excel file so i just create excel file over here you have to just give the path so over here is my data and i just need to set the path over here so just open it desktop and the data excel file is there click ok so when i hit on run button data is feeded to my excel file and it will automatically open my excel sheet as you see i just close this as you see serial number temperature pressure and it is horizontally centered and vertically centered so it will generate the data so as you see if you feed this is automatically generated in the case of your real time data if you want to slow it or if you want to change anything inside it you can do it in the 
front not front panel it is in the block diagram so this is how my program works so let's say i want to stop the program when i stop the program it will also dispose my excel sheet over here let's check data stored in the file this one when i again hit on run button it will dispose this data new data is feeded to my excel file right now 93 total 93 times my loop runs let's check again when i hit on a run button when i again hit on run button as you see I just close this let's close this so now I want to again hit on run button total 93 data is feeded to my Excel sheet let's check so right now I just want to stop over here and let's check how much data is there inside the excel sheet you every time you need uh, another report you have to just change the file path right now total 24 times my loop runs not 24 total 22 because over here is my iteration from 0 to 22 means total 23 times my loop runs so this is all about how you can generate a report using lab view and using report generation tool thank you